Okay, hey guys, how you doing? Um, yes, you'll notice I've got the COVID-19 goatee. Actually, this morning, this was the COVID-19 beard. Um, but things kind of changed yesterday when I went for a walk. And uh, this little girl looks at me across the street. And she's got huge eyes just bulging at me. And I, I look at her thinking, oh, what's going on? She tugs at her mom and the mom bends down. The little girl says something. Mom bursts out laughing. So I'm thinking, all right, what's so funny? So I go up to them, no closer than six feet, of course. I say, okay, what's so funny? Mother looks at me and says, she thinks you're Santa Claus. So that wasn't really working for me. So I decided, all right. Let's lose the beard, but we'll keep a little bit. So this stays on until I get out of this house. Um, something different. Okay. How you doing? What's going on? Anything new? Mm, probably. So uh, curious to see if you guys, um, I'd love to be able to see you on Sunday and talk to you about it, what you're all doing. Um, very different times. I mean, it's different for you. It's different for me. It's different for everybody. And I think everyone's just trying to figure out, hey, what do you do in times like this? Um, all your routines are gone. Um, some of you are probably enjoying it. I mean, what comes to mind right off the bat is Jeremy. I'm pretty sure Jeremy's loving no school. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jeremy, but I don't think so. Um, some of you may not be loving it because some of you probably would love to go back to school. Believe it or not, there are some that do love school. Um, hanging out with your friends, even some of us like to learn. So, um, you know, some of you are probably struggling in that way, being at home all this time. And it could be a fair bit longer. No one knows. Um, so I thought about it. Um, you're filling in your time. And I was wondering if there's anything I could give you that um, might make this time just a little better whatever your circumstances are. And what came to mind was the issue of prayer. Uh, let, me, let me step back for a bit and talk about prayer from my perspective and then kind of what I've learned as I've researched through this and uh, what I can pass on to you guys. As you know, I, I grew up as a Christian and then... For my middle years, I would not have called myself a Christian. And then I came back to God about 10 years ago. But no matter what stage of my life, um, the issue of prayer has always been a bit of a struggle for me. Um, I think probably to best explain it, it has to do with the way I was brought up. And one of the ways I was brought up was if you have a problem, you need to work hard to solve that problem yourself. You can't keep relying on other people to solve your problems. So that's what I did. Um, and when I had some kind of challenge, um, I embraced that challenge and I found a solution. And that's pretty much been my entire life. So the idea of asking for help was always a little difficult for me. Um, and admittedly, it still is today. Like one of my thoughts would always be, well, you know what? Especially now, God's got to be really busy. He doesn't need to hear about me and my issues. So um, as a result, I think, ah, uh, uh, I won't ask for anything today. And then the next day and the next day. So I started thinking about that and thinking, well, even if you don't have a really big problem, that doesn't mean that others don't. And you can pray for them. So there's never, ever an excuse not to be praying. Um, but when I thought about that and thought, you know, what about, does God really want to hear all my prayers, all my thoughts? And so I thought, uh, let's, let's go dig it into the scripture just a little bit and see what it has to say. So I start off with Jeremiah 29 verse 12. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will hear you. So that's really important right off the bat. God hears you. You're not talking to the wind. He's actually listening. So keep that in mind, that when you pray, you are being heard. 
So there is purpose just in that. Okay, let's go to Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. This one I thought was particularly important um, given the circumstances of, of today. Um, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. So I don't know um, what's going on with you guys. If some of you are a little anxious um, about this COVID-19 um, there's certainly lots of stuff in the news and, and we hear about all the number of cases increasing. So it, it can be um, an anxious time for some. Um, but, but what this is saying is, hey, if you're anxious, stop. Pray to God. He's listening and your prayers will be heard. Um, so keep that in mind as yet another reason to pray. Okay, my next one. Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Okay, so when you pile these three together, you're thinking, first of all, you're always heard. And then this last one, just ask, and it will be yours. Um, So important to know that he's there, He's listening and he is there to help you and he will. All right. So finally, um, the last one I had gets back to mine about uh, when should I pray? I don't like to ask for a lot of things. How about Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 16 to 18? Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So there it is, point blank. He wants you to pray. We don't have to be tough soldiers and brave it out and do it all ourselves. That's not what he's looking for. He actually wants to hear your prayers. He actually wants to help you. And as a father, I've got five kids. That makes a lot of sense because he's my father. I'm their father. And if my kids are struggling, I definitely want to know about it. And I definitely want to help them in any way I possibly can. God is no different. So remember that. um, No prayer is too small. Um, No prayer goes unheard. So there is absolutely no reason not to be praying. And when you consider your days right now, I think um, you'd be hard-pressed to say, ah, couldn't pray today. There just wasn't enough time. Mm, Yeah, I'd probably call you out on that. You probably have more time than you've ever had. There's no school and you're home and you can't go outside and play. Uh, You shouldn't be going outside and playing. Well, you can play outside, but just not with a lot of kids. Um, So you have the time. Um, I think some of us also get in the habit of thinking we only pray when we go to bed. Well, no, you can pray at any time. You can sit back and say, okay, um, right now is a good time to pray because the movie's just ended or I've just finished my video game or "Hmm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. Well, maybe any one of those cues or be a reminder to you to say, hey, just spend a bit of time. And you might be saying, yeah, but there's nothing I want right now. I don't need to pray because things are pretty good. Well, that may be true. And obviously that's what we want, but that's not true of all. Um, There's a lot of people who are struggling right now. There are people who have lost grandmas and grandpas, moms and dads, brothers and sisters. Um, There are people who are very scared in very different parts of the world where the coronavirus is being very aggressive. And these people need your prayers. These people need you to ask God to be with them and help heal them. Um, They need you to ask God to give them strength and courage. Um, They need you to ask for 
the doctors to have the wisdom to help them, for supplies to come in that um, can make the difference of life or death. So with that in mind, um, there is never any excuse not to pray. And there's never any lack of things to pray for, if not for yourself, but for others. And it is very important that we not only think of ourselves, but we think of others and pray. So finally, um, you know, sometimes God works in mysterious ways. I actually videotaped, this is a second time. For some reason, it stopped at the four minute and 42 second mark. So I thought, ah, have to do that again. It was really brilliant the first time. Not quite as good this time, but you'll never know that. Um, and anyhow, so I come back down and think, okay, I'll, I'll do it again. All of a sudden on my phone, it pops up a prayer for our world uh, from the Bible app. And I thought, hmm, that's interesting. I, I finished first, but I didn't have enough time. And now all of a sudden, when I'm just about to do it again, this pops up. So I thought I'd read this for you. This is from the Bible app and is called A Prayer for Our World. God, you alone are worthy of honor, glory, and praise. With you, we can overcome every storm, including the global impact COVID-19 is having on our world. Right now, we are asking you to heal those who are sick and protect those who are not. Give our leaders extra wisdom as they navigate this pandemic and economic uncertainty. Strengthen your global church. Reveal to us how we can partner together to reach the needs of those around us. Calm our fears. Fill us with your hope, joy, and peace as we continue to trust in you. Use this pandemic to pave the way for spiritual renewal. We want your glory, power, and healing to be on display. Come, Lord Jesus, come. In Jesus' name, amen. So there you go. That uh, God just slipped that through just before I uh, was ready to film this last one. And and one last point um, that I mentioned the first time, and I think I, I haven't mentioned this time. One other very important thing to pray for is there are a lot of people in this world not praying because there are a lot of people who don't have faith and believe in God. We need that to change. Um, so pray for those who don't have faith. Pray that God works through them so that they discover him, believe in him, and work with him. Um, even if your prayer is answered for one person in this world, that is a huge difference to that one person. And it's a small step for this world. So one other thing to put on your list to pray for is that God reaches those who don't know. Him. Okay, guys. Um, I hope you're doing well. Um, I hope you're taking this opportunity to do the things you want to do, um, that you're having fun, and that you're not anxious. But with all of these things, remember you got prayer, and there's no need to be anxious. Take care, guys. See you soon.